It's one o'clock time for the Joy Business Report. Coming up this afternoon, International Monetary Fund demands amendment of Ghana's Fiscal Responsibility Act to strengthen fiscal discipline. Meanwhile, the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce expresses worry that details of IMF program could hurt private sector by encouraging government to overtax businesses. And later on in the bulletin, we'll tell you why the consumption of mushrooms have declined despite its medicinal and health values. Beverly Broom, we settle for the details now and the International Monetary Fund is demanding an amendment of Ghana's Fiscal Responsibility Act to strengthen fiscal discipline. This, the fund contends, will prevent the country from getting into bankruptcy. According to the IMF, the fiscal rule will be reinforced by adding a debt target to control extra budgetary spending. The following report has more. The Fiscal Responsibility Act capped the country's fiscal deficit in relation to the size of the economy at 5% annually. But the IMF wants a review of the act. According to the fund, the law will be simplified by focusing on a single operational rule. The existing Fiscal Advisory Council will also be reformed to bolster the credibility of macro fiscal projections and to ensure the fiscal rule is adequately implemented and enforced. An IMF technical assistance could be deployed to support these reforms. The fund also said state-owned enterprises are imposing a direct fiscal cost to the central government and a major source of fiscal risks. This, it said, reflects both weak institutional arrangements and unsustainable sectorial policies. Therefore, the fund indicated that institutional arrangements for managing and monitoring state-owned enterprises are to be reformed to foster competition and efficiency. That was a business desk report. Now, the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce has expressed worry that some conditions in the IMF deal could unnecessarily stress the private sector with taxes. As part of the program, government is required to increase revenue through taxes. Already, government has passed three taxes which have been criticized by the business community as retrogressive. Speaking to Joy Business, the Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber, Mark Bedouabwaji, said details of the IMF program is not helpful to businesses. That's we usually see the devil is in the details. Mm. And then after reading the article 24, I'm so much worried about what is ahead of us as businesses mm. and also as uh, citizens of Ghana. The IMF um, facility is not a panacea in itself. What it does, as you have all said, is to help us stabilize the economy. You need the private sector to ensure that we get a good. So whatever conditionalities are there, we should be careful to look at the negative impact of these conditionalities on the activities of businesses. IMF will not give you money to invest in infrastructure. It requires the private sector to do that. Already, the environment is harsh. I get worried when anybody says that businesses in Ghana are not paying taxes, and that is totally wrong. You heard the, the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce, Mark Bidwabwaj. Now, economist Professor Lord Mensa is casting doubt Ghana will receive the first tranche of the $3 billion facility by the end of this week. Professor Mensa stated that the first tranche of the funds could be reached or could be ready in about a week's time. Uh, emergency tranche in a sense that, you know, looking at the dire situation of our economic, you know, outlook and then, you know, the dollar level, um, if the IMF does not soften its, you know, conditions and then go strictly by what is expected of us, I can tell you that we may not get, you know, the tranche. So 
Um, by the close of this week, um, I may say it is a bit early because we are looking at, you know, that and they have not come out with any state being the state. So, I mean, the week has already ended. So probably let's look at somewhere from, from next week to the, to the end of next week. We do some more stories now, and the Ministry of Finance is pledging a sustained partnership with Ghanaians and the media towards the new part of economic stability and building a resilient economy. In a press briefing a while ago, Chief Director Eva Men said the ministry acknowledges that the, me- the media is vital to effective economic governance in the society, acting as a bridge between the government and the people. She pointed out that through the media's efforts, Ghanaians stay in informed, make informed decisions and actively participate in the development of the nation. She concluded that the finance ministry understands the power of transparency and believes by working together, shared goals of economic growth, financial stability and improved living standards for all Ghanaians can be achieved. Now, the Ghanaian German Economic Association is hopeful Ghana's exchange rate regime will experience some stability against other major foreign currencies. President for the association, Stephen Entry, called on government to implement policies to reduce importation of goods to strengthen the city. Excitement is predicated on the fact that we've had long periods of currency fluctuations currency ability that we used to have prior to COVID and that is exciting for any business people. Don't forget we had situations at a point in time where the exchange rate was going close to 15 Ghana cities for a city and then it dropped down to about 8 something. If this deal had not been done the expectations were that we were going to see that run again. Now, scientific evidence reveals mushrooms have cancer suppressant properties and antihypertensive properties due to its high antioxidant components. But bad farming practice threatened their existence. In this week's episode of Food Chain, Emmanuel Bright Kweku sheds light on the neglected protein source, which is still lucrative to its growers and vendors. <laughs> Mama Janice is a mushroom seller at the Swami Market. Today, the bundles of mushrooms she normally ply along the busy market streets are missing. She says the farmers could not get us some mushrooms today. Sometimes the farmers in the villages bring them to us. So in the morning you find them on the tracks that come from the rural areas. But today there aren't any available. Francis Brady, a student of the Kwadaso College of Agriculture, has been growing mushrooms for the past two years, a business he started back in his village at Sishi, and currently a source of financing for his diploma education. There are lots of items on the farm that you could have looked at, but why mushroom? It's because uh, that was what um, I met first. That was what I... And it was something I wanted to do. So during BEC, I went to do a break at the SHS and I came here. When I came here, even the time I, was, I, I didn't decide to be by the was like when I come, the first thing I would do is mushrooms. I had my capital from a friend sister whom I'm even living with right now. So I discussed everything with her like, sister, this is what I want to do. I'm finding it difficult to pay my fees and this the type of thing I want to do, so help me. So she sent me about 500 cities and I started buying the items from Marseille that I transferred it over there. Despite the efforts put in by farmers with hopes of scaling up, mushrooms are not an alternative protein source for a chunk of the Ghanaian population. Uh, I eat, but it's not something I fancy. But I get it fine. And even being part of the dish, I can choose to ignore it. As compared to the red meat, chicken, fish. Uh-huh. It doesn't have any taste. I don't like it. Research provides numerous nutritional benefits of mushrooms, including its cancer suppressant properties and antihypertensive effects. Professor Felix Engman is with the Food Technology Department of the Kumasi Technical University. Mushroom, it has what we call phytochemicals, that is um, chemicals which are not nutrients but rather help in terms of health. And so we have antioxidants which fight tumors like cancers. Yeah, it also helps with the um, brain health, so it helps to prevent the Alzheimer's disease. 
again helps to boost the immune system it helps also with the reduction of blood sugar level those also who are hypertensive because it reduces the sodium level in the blood not only are they dying out of the market but mushrooms as seasonal crops have become elusive in rural farms naturally sourced mushrooms are endangered by some farming practices including the use of pesticides and the changing climate we know mushrooms they grow in the wild and uh, the, the spores are delicate bushfires the use of chemicals in uh, farming had actually have a great impact so picking them from the wild is is not common nowadays exciting the nutritional content and benefits of mushroom right when next you visit the market do purchase yourself and the family some mushrooms my name is emmanuel bright quick The full episode will be aired this Saturday at 6 p.m. on the Joy News Channel. Do follow us on all our social media pages, including LinkedIn. Now, do you receive your salary in accounts that gives you more? Is your salary in the right account? No worries. We are here to help. Just open an Ecobank salary account and enjoy amazing benefits like free life insurance, which provides cover for death, permanent total disability, critical illness, hospitalization, temporary Temporal disability and retrenchment. With the Ecobank salary account, you can enjoy the ability to save as you spend, free debit card, access to loans, and a lot more. And the best part is you stand the chance to win double your salary in the Ecobank double salary promo reloaded. So open an account or open an Echo Bank salary account and enjoy all these benefits that comes with it. For inquiries on the Echo Bank double salary promotion reloaded and the Echo Bank salary account, call Echo Bank toll free on 0800 003225. Please note that Echo Bank will never call you for your Ghana card information or mobile app PIN or ask you to pay money before your account is credited as a winner in this promotion. The only call you will receive is to inform you that you have won in this promotion and your account has been credited. You are not required to pay money in this promotion to receive your prize. When in doubt, visit any of our branches. Terms and conditions apply. Echo Bank, the Pan-African Bank and Beverly Broom. Have a good afternoon.